thank you all for joining. Here we are. Kanan Khan, the difference. God Almighty, has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? The Miller and Ledechko would be happy to meet you. You really found work for us? Of course. I couldn't bear to look at those sour faces of yours a moment longer. Thanks, Henry. Only... <sighs> what? The reward we talked about, well, we haven't got two groschen to rub together. Why did I even bother with you pair of parasites? I risk my good... And we'll pay you. As soon as we have anything, stop by and visit us in a week. We'll pay you back as soon as we get our first wage. Mm, oops, I uh, actually... <laughs> How come you're wearing such fine armour? Is there a joust happening? The monastery wants you to pay for treatment. That doesn't sound right. Leave it be, Yowl. I won't. What happened? We... might have pummeled his face. Uh, but don't get involved in me. We'll settle it on our own. Wait, who exactly did you pummel? Well, he kept on bothering us and... Uh, in a nutshell, it was his fault and we're not going to talk about it anymore. But couldn't there be a way to settle it? Maybe he'd let you off the... There isn't. Well, don't be a twat, Fritz. The two of you are up to your necks in shit and you're going to play tough instead of seeing sense. Go to hell, Henry. You and Elias. You want as bad as the other. You're good for nothing, you wretch. I'm not the one who's jobless and almost dying of hunger. Now you've done it. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Really? I'm fine again. I want to get better at fist fighting. Certainly. I'd like to practice. All right. Now. <laughs> She got a bit of in a fight with me. Ugh. Anyway. Um, I think where we're going now is actually take a nap at the house and uh, see what's up with that. And then I will show you, actually show you something really cool. I actually had. Uh, How are you, Henry? Good. Thank you. I actually had uh, found a way into the monastery. Yeah, I did. But we're going to do it actually at night, and uh, yeah, we can get into that. Right now. To go and take a nap, and uh, at night we will get into the monastery, yes, because I have sort of found a way how to. Uh, I can sort of maybe show you. And uh, yeah, pretty funny actually how it happened. Just want to shoot around the cloister and the monasteries and stuff and all that, so. Uh, It's pretty funny. I also actually had to sell my goods. Uh, I have done now. Okay, seems to be something. Uh, well, uh, let's hope we can get this paid. I guess we have to pay something in the monastery.
let's go and get up. Um, well, this is step one. We actually go here and open this door. Yes. Afterwards, you will go and open this door. But actually, it's a private area. Normally, it's locked, but uh, because I have, oh, actually, unlocked these doors. So, and then you go here. Okay, you can see, go to the wrist road. You have to unlock this with lock picking. And along the way, you will go and get here. Then you are the finally in the. This actually the monastery. Uh, right now, where are you at? And uh, so, well, that's one of the things I want to show you. You have to actually to talk to him, to the prior. Watch your. Uh, you actually have afraid. to knock him out. We actually have to knock him out. Are you dead? So you, have to you don't remove yourself from the monastery right now. Don't... So. You! Stop! Right where you are. Oh, right. Right. Well, as you can see. You a violation. You're under arrest. Yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Is that the best you can I'm not going to fight this. We just have to pay something, so it won't be jail. So. So actually, the, the guy I'll who just teach you what clear off means. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That'll land you a fat fine. All right. Well, you have to actually work. Um, uh. Oh well, what can I do? Here you are. You've purged yourself before the law, but I'll be keeping an eye on you. You can be sure of that. Well, so as you can see there. You have to go and get to that door, and then you will see the pyre, and then you have to knock out the pyre, and then you get the keys into the monastery, and which you can actually use it for, you can actually open all the doors. I can actually show you the keys, I think I have them on me at the moment. As you can see, the gate of Vernon Books is also something in the monastery. Then you also have the monastery key, but it's actually, I think it is a quest item in Bo. So actually, you can get to this. Well, you can get into the monastery. I will go and save actually a bit. We have to do a little nap at, I think, this here, where all the, where all the sick are. We actually also have a quest uh, for that one. Uh, also unlocked with her, unfortunately. But I'm not going to do that right now. I don't really want to. But we can get to do it at some point, I suppose, when we want to unlock it. Well, we'll do one sleep and then we'll go get into the monastery. I don't save it, so may if we die or get into trouble, we, uh, I can just load it up. I just more want to show you how the monastery looks from the inside, and uh, yeah, that's a bit what it is. And uh, if they don't see us, we can probably also lock pick a few uh, tools and also get a few things out of it. I actually also got a few things already, so yeah. Go, shall we? It doesn't actually really matter where you get in. Like you can, you can see, you already have opened the door, so we just can walk in straight up, and then you will get into the main um, cathedral or main hall. You can maybe see here. So let's actually close the door and actually walk on the slow pace. Like, this is just the monastery. So you can maybe see. So that is pretty cool. And then um, we will go get into uh, cer more certain places. So you can see we can actually unlock it now because of that key. It also, or if you can really very hard lock it, you can also get into the monastery. So this is actually the monastery. I think almost everyone is asleep right now. So that's pretty good. So we can actually just walk around so slowly and normally. If I'm not mistaken. Well. Actually, we can maybe go and take some uh, uh, people's image tournament rule of the Benedict. So we can actually go and steal stuff if we want to. So we can actually steal books and read books here and all that. So as you can maybe see here, we actually got uh, a few things already, but it's so pretty funny, I must admit. Page from the tour book. So you can see we can actually get into the pretty easily if you do it right um, well it doesn't really matter too much but that is pretty cool to really get in although I think though um, can actually go and get in more like there's also I think there's the apocatary start out making and also can start already out me here and there's actually a bit Alex and touch uh, 
one go get it. You just have to surrender, you have to pay a small fee, but I suppose it, it will harm your reputation with the monastery uh, if that happens to you. I already have a bad reputation with the monks, so yeah. I'm already on that point. That doesn't really matter anymore. Maybe at some point we have some problem with me. I don't know. I've seen a bit of the game, like in the third um, part of the game. Food. I'm not sure when that is. You will actually go to the moon to die. So like hey, got the like, things like hey, here and stuff. Meant really what is inside. Like, cheers, actually we can't take. Cheese is pretty good. Cheese is pretty expensive and also fills quite a bit of your hunger. Well as you can see you got actually quite a lot, you got more cheese, but well anyway. So this is a bit uh, oh shit, don't don't flout. Okay, see, I'm already gonna really lock it pretty easily. Uh, my skill's pretty high at that now, so it's really nice. Page storm. But it seems to be something that is to do with a quest already, so it might be in the future that we might need those books. I don't think I can sell them though. But it might even be a need the monster key as well. I think. I'm starting to think why uh, should we um, need to be getting into the monastery anyway. I think it might be because of the fact that we um, need to find something out that's inside the monastery and then, uh, yeah, do something with that at the end. But, uh, yeah, this please, that's my theory though. Okay, this goes outside again, outside the door, so don't wake that up. Uh, let's just get a torch though on because I don't see shit. <coughs> Of course, uh, that wouldn't be really sneaky if we really weren't a uh, thief right now, I suppose. But Alright, as you can see already, these are open because I actually opened them before. Just to have a look around. And then you can also open these, but there are the token quite a lot of the stuff, good stuff that is inside of here. So I think this one is also I've opened already. Already got some really great golden course holders and that are actually really expensive, like you get around 600 of them, so can get that one as well, we can take that pretty well. Let's go and take it, although I don't really want to take the web, but I have to drop it at some point I suppose. Wool fabric, why not? I don't know what it does though, but it uh, doesn't really matter, right? Alright, so yeah, I got that clean, well. Let's, uh, actually, I can't actually show you the upper floor because they will be all be sleeping. Of course, the tires and uh, is it at another room? But so I would uh, like, yeah. So this is actually the monastery for the most part. Here you can actually got to go down again into another area. It's actually down on the cellars. I can see more stuff down here below. Exactly the cellars, but it's actually not more much interesting. Yeah, it is actually also a lockpick, I think it is also a cellar. But uh, yeah. As you can see, yeah, that's sort of possibly a punishment thing or something, I don't know, of the monastery. This is actually the outside of another town of our town, of the town of Sasa, so 
Well, the only thing I don't have to show you yet is the upper tier, but they're actually there to sleep on the monks, so it wouldn't be too wise to go there. I'm not sure, yeah, that might also be the one where it will be higher up. It depends really on what we can show As you can see there, that's the sleeping area. So I think what we right want to do now is buck out and get away. Because uh, we're at a point that we're not really up to a point anymore. So, so I did a bit of uh, the monastery, so I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you want to check it out yourself, that is actually the way you can go. So, uh, yeah. And this is again the monastery. It really looks cool, though. I must admit, it really looks cool. So, this is the monastery. So, uh, yeah. Now we can actually walk in normal right now again. But well, let's actually put all the heavy stuff inside. I will actually go to the co next quest. So, um, see you in a second, guys. Uh, everyone, I suppose. So, see you in a sec. Bye. Right now we're at Rate, as you can maybe see. I actually have done quite a lot of things, though. But it has not been that really invested for you actually to need to see it was mostly only trading and all that so not much interest in that hmm? ah that's the one we need Tobias Fayera Time. Greetings. What do you need? Um, take Russian. Master Fayfar, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Did you really? Do tell. Close to Rovna, I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. Unfortunately, I came too late. The carter and his men were dead. Damn it, Blast. Do you know who did it? Yes. A certain knight turned up there. Turned out he was also after the forgers. Well, that is indeed unexpected. Tell me, what did he say? His name is Ulrich. He looked like a knight, but he refused to show his master's colours. Ulrich, you say? Hmm. It could be anyone. Can you describe him? An older man with a moustache. But for all his grey hairs, he seemed pretty tough to me. Hmm. Doesn't match anyone I've heard of. But then we don't even know if Ulrich is his real name. I asked him who his liege was, but he refused to tell me. We live in such strange times. In days past, knights would vie with each other to see who could extol their liege's name the loudest. And today, they take assumed names, hide their emblems and sneak around the land like thieves. I got the impression he was hiding his identity because his master's at odds with Sir Radzig. That may well be. As a staunch supporter of the king, Sir Radzig has many enemies. He told me that the fake money was being taken to Passau in exchange for gold coins, then that real money was being brought back to the Bohemian lands. That would explain why those fakes bear the Passau counter mark. His master is allied with the Passau alderman, and they told him to sort it all out. I wonder who could be behind it all. He gave me these documents to show you. He seemed to think they proved he was telling the truth. They're the records of the interrogations in Passau and some other things he said you'd understand better than him. Hmm. Let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, uh -huh. interrogation held this day, uh -huh. put to pain by the quester. Okay. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Hmm. Which certainly confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sasso. Coin assay report. Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, but this is interesting. Here's an outlying description of how the forgeries are made. I'll have to study it more closely. We command Herr Ulrich to investigate and let no man stand in his way. This looks like the original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Passau alderman. But they certainly didn't pen this. How do you know? I recognise the hand. It's a Clement of Caplitz, the high scribe of the Rosenbergs. The Rosenbergs? Who's that? A rich and powerful family in South Bohemia. 
Burgrave Henry the Third is a great rival of our King Winter. Uh. So what does all this mean? Well, it certainly explains why your knight is so mysterious. Anyway, we should be careful. And we shall begin our investigation. The documents show they use silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. That's a lead we can follow. Amal what? Silver amalgam. It's produced from quicksilver and silver. Well, that doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Hmm. You're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? At the inn on Sasso Market Square. No, I can also do the other one. Master Fayfar, Sir Radzik sent me to you. Did he? He must think highly of you. I do the best I can. <laughs> That's good, because this is damned important. Silver's our most valuable asset. How can I help with these, um, evil forebodings of yours? Hm. Sir Radzik may make light of it, but a large quantity of silver has been discovered hereabouts. And no one is guarding the Skullet's mines, the most likely source. You really think someone could be stealing the silver from the mines? I would have thought that would be quite a job, wouldn't it? It certainly would. Which is why I'd like you to go and check out not only the mine gallery, but also the yard with the smelter and the waterworks. See what kind of state it's all in, and if anything looks suspicious. Is that the yard next to the Scallet's mill? That's the one. I don't know what state it's in now. There used to be a stock of charcoal and smelted silver there. A silver store? Could there really be any left? I doubt it. I'd be surprised if it was still standing at all. What about these waterworks? What's there? A stamping mill and washing troughs. They're on the bend in the river below the castle. You can't miss them. There are big tanks and equipment all around. I'm really starting to think why, uh, why we have to go gallery. to get into a monastery. It makes Boy, some sense, but that's, I think the monks there, are involved. It would take a week to crawl through the place. There's only one gallery I'm interested in, at the foot of the hill by a small fish pond. Why just that one? Because I was expecting to find a scene there. All the indications pointed to it. So if anyone is stealing silver, it'll be right there. Should I be expecting trouble then? Well, I definitely wouldn't treat the job like a visit to church on Sunday. You could find yourself facing that pack of hungry dogs trailing the army, or a band of brigands. I see. Well, you and Sir Radzik can rely on me. That's all clear. I'll get going. All right, so we have to Jesus, go to do that going. bird at the moment. I think. Hey. Oh, really? Are you serious? Can we talk to him? Actually, no, we can't. Well, anyway. Hmm? <laughs> no, we can also pick up now. Well, anyway, I think we're going to have a talk. Yeah, definitely. Actually, oh, I'm actually going to take a look at actually our armor pieces. I actually want some light armor. If we have to go like steel or do anything in that region, <coughs> I might want it instead of the uh, very heavy like pieces that we've got. Old boots uh, might be very nicely. All the Warho shoes, I suppose, we could actually take instead. Would possibly be better. I like the beef cassars and also as well. Um, then we can actually take the dark one. Um, I think only gloves, but I don't think we have any gloves. We do not. We don't have no more gloves. Well, I suppose we can go to the hunter for that. Uh, but first, I'll have a nap, possibly until late in the morning. Because I think it is pretty late right now to even think of doing anything else. Although we have some really good energy. So let's don't do that because there's no need for that. We have more than enough energy, so. Let's go to the Hunter and then fast travel towards um, Sasao. Uh, go and speak to Ulrik.
What are you here for? Can you teach me to... Are you pulling my pizzle? You want me to teach you after what you did here? something that maybe appeases uh, anger and me. I don't know what I did, actually. Well, anyway, let's... Uh... Well, I really don't know. Um... Oh, 60. Well. Uh, as you can see, we have more than enough, so I suppose... Give him some extra for let's his Let's talk problem. about the price. Hmm. All right, so I don't know what I did actually. I have no clue. A hundred extra, right? I don't know. Here, and uh, something for your trouble. Thanks a thousand times. Is he not happier with me? Or I don't know. I gave him hundred extra. Can you teach me to be a better archer? Are you pulling my... Not yet. Okay. What the... God! Oh, come here, quick! No. There's a thief over there! Oh, great. I see a thief! God! Hey, you... No. Oh, shit! No! All right. Ah, crap. I'll okay. that straight to hell. Oh. 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 What's the matter? Come on. Oh, Surrender. oh, oh, great. You a crime, you. <laughs> Shit, I tricked on the wrong one. <laughs> Just wanted to talk Got to you him. at last. Now you'll get what's coming to you. What? You look surprised. I've got plenty on you, you scum. Public brawling, for one thing. Not to mention other troublemaking. So keep your mouth shut. This definitely won't come cheap. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. All right. You and have. Well, it seems to me you have to go, actually, if you want to go and get better at archery, you seem to have to go to a poachers. Uh, like, actually, I'm really curious, like, habitation, oh uh, god, the monastery in the Ruvana is possibly bad. Le Cocolo, and we got, ooh, Somerset. Why is that so bad? I know why that was. I actually tacked it out in that city. Talmuk is really good. Scarlet is good, but so Scarlet uh, has been taught new of good. Radi is also good, but uh, we don't have any so good relationship with the uh, our friend. Uh, <coughs> why? Such are my orders. Uh, what? Search me then. If you insist. Nothing. All right. You may continue. <laughs> really? Oh God.
Clear off. I don't want to talk to you. Any work for me here, by any chance? That depends. How's your hearing? What? I said, how's your hearing? It's perfectly fine. You don't have to scream at me. I mean, why are you asking? Because there is this one little job going. But I need someone who knows the area well and has good ears. I ought to be able to handle that. Fine. So here's the problem. My friend is a birder, and he left a few rare nightingales with me for safekeeping. They're good to trade. Rich gentlemen hang them caged up in their chambers. It keeps their wives from fretting when they're off drinking and wenching. I see. The trouble is, the nightingales are gone. I don't know how, but the birds have flown. Hang on, surely you're not asking me to go flapping around looking for birds? Not exactly. Luckily, their wings are clipped, so they won't be far, and the watchman in the tower told me they headed off toward Vranik. I have traps prepared. It should be easy enough to catch them in those. Fine, but how will I know where to put the traps? I hear they like pine woods, and there's a pine-covered hill just before Vranik. Right, a bloody great wood. That's just why you need to listen out. Nightingales have a distinctive song. When you hear it close by, you set a trap on the spot. They kept twittering away the whole time they were here, so I can remember the tunes. I'll sing them to you. Really? I can't wait. It went something like this. <coughs> what? People keep birds like that in their houses. It's like the sound a cat makes when you pull it by the tail. You know how it is. The gentry's got all manner of odd tastes. The question is, can you remember it? Yes. I remember. Right. Here are the traps. Don't forget, once you hear a nightingale, set a trap nearby. You ought to be caught in it after a while. I'll do that. I'd like you to show me some hunting tricks. Are you pulling my pizzle? Mm, okay. He's not yet uh, happy with me yet. Ooh, got a monastery. Nothing else there. Oh, we have to have a load, really? Oh my god. Really? Are they that happy? Anyway. Let's move to a horse. Let's move to a horse. Let's move to a horse. Let's. Um, move to the horses. Uh, let's also move that to a horse. I don't really need the ones like I have already have, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, I can also keep go that away. We can also put those away. I can also put that away. We can also get put that away. We can also put that away. We can also put these away. We can also put those away. We can also put those away. I think actually only this one and oh, I should be fine. Yeah, okay, the hunters gloves. Well, I suppose that's all. Well, I suppose this is one of the decks we can do, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going um, and travel, fast travel towards Sasau. <laughs> because we have to talk to Ulrich and also do some other quests. Stop and talk a while at least. Oh, fuck you. Nope. I will. It really depends what we're now going to do, but I'm possibly after this because I will quit it, but um, that will be mostly it though. After um, scout it. 
Oh, really? Oh, come on. Ah, he was. Come on, you peasants. Is that all? No! Why did you didn't go in and just like hold for the door? Is he not dead? Ah, oh, well. And this cunt is dead. Well, I don't need only need the caution. We can actually get the food. Get something to eat. Well, stop it holes is gone. <laughs> for now. Pretzel Ah, there's something to eat, I suppose. Well, anyway. Okay, we'll see. Let's continue towards Sasso. Really? Right, for real? They're going to do this. Oh my Is god! That oh, that's a bit stupid. Lost your wind? Come on, come on, you idiot. Bastards around. I don't mind killing you. Ooh, hunting boots. A noble corchete. Huh. Well, I don't really need that, but that one well, is not bad. Let's go in the Mount Spreelter. Sassau. Oh no, I have to go to Sassau Inn actually. I'm not really thinking why on earth we have to go to Monstery and then I'm starting to think that it's actually. To go actually to the inn and possibly take a nap because uh, everyone's possibly sleeping. Good chance on that. Hey, watch it. Careful. One beer. Here you are. I'll good help. Certainly, I'll fetch it right away. The, the best women of them. Suppose he might be in his room. Great. Oh. Uh, actually, as is going to take a nap. Stick nap actually. Well, you wait, we wait. Uh, 5 a.m. Seems to be getting our battery up. It'll actually do save the game, although it doesn't really need to be safe right now. I suppose. Is, um,
Alright, um, let's now go again up, I suppose, and let's go to Ulrich, although I actually have one. Could I actually pickpocket him? For the fun. Although, well, let's just talk. So, what did Master Pfeiffer have to say? I consulted him, and we definitely have a starting point. Tell me more. Master Pfeiffer found out they need copper sheets for the core of the coins, and quicksilver for the alma... alma... Uh, uh, the other part? I see. They have such materials at the monastery. Exactly. That's why I'm interested in the local forges. Yes, that is good. Yesterday, I heard people from the craftsman's yard by the monastery complaining. They said they could not sleep at night because the blacksmith works all the time till dawn. I see. That's certainly worth asking about. Have you heard anything else? You said they use quicksilver. There is a painter lodging here who is painting the church in Ujits. I heard him complain also. He said that he went to the monastery for quicksilver and it was all gone. Well, that's something to follow up as well. Thanks. Okay, wait until he sleeps and then... Uh Into it, why would him be waking up? I'm actually just going to try it, but I will go into a quick nap to make sure I am not um, going to be getting fucked because of it. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking, am I right, that we have to become sort of a monk and try and investigate stuff over there? Let's get up and let's try and lock pick his chest, shall we? Shouldn't be too difficult. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Wait. Yeah. Shit is uh yeah, he woke up. Makes some good sense, doesn't it? Uh. Oh. You're not going anywhere. If you in Ha! Go and run. Although I'm really curious what he got in his strength. Oh. Ah, is uh, his armor. Oh, whoa. Macbook, Middenburg pleated, gee, oh my god, new and Burke armor, a uh, Robert's Baron sword, huh, very cool, well, let's go load it, and make sure he doesn't hit us, shall we, uh, yeah, D, and uh, yeah, that one, yes, <laughs> let's even see how actually quickly we beat him. Pretty funny how quickly like we beat him to the ground. Pretty funny. <laughs> well, okay, it seems to be that we can't really Can we stealth kill him? Really? Okay, we'll load it up. Uh, do that but it seems to be we still kill kill like that's really nice they can kill people in the sleep but uh, yeah this is actually his armor set so if you want to go and take Ulrik out that is his armor set so he got actually the best uh, I think uh, this part armor and also his million plate causes are also better I think his nodal um, his, actually, I have this one already, so this, these two are both better than I've gotten at the moment. 
but uh, the rest is not as good. Yeah. Yeah, we kill him. I found it pretty funny that he can just do that like that. That's pretty good. I'm going to be able to do that now again with um right here and try and kill the innkeeper. Would be funny. Think so, you bastard! Somebody help! Over here, help! Oh my God! Really? Somebody help! Damn it! Alarm! Everyone here, quick! She's dead. So we can now actually kill Ulrich. <laughs> oh my god, so that means he's not important enough to destroy. So we, we can actually kill him if we want to. Well, uh, no, we will not. But anyway, so you can actually kill him if you want. So let's actually load up to see if we can get. I didn't expect that. Like, we can actually kill him <laughs> in his sleep. Oh, God, you old bastard. <laughs> I found it pretty funny, actually. I can't actually make what else about that. Well, anyway, I think that is a nice end to this uh, part. So, I hope you enjoyed. It was Kingdom Come Reference, and I see you all next time. Have a good time, everyone.